Hello and welcome back. My name is Stefano and today we're going to be setting up and using a wireless access point that TP-Link has sent over and it is the EAP 6600 HD. It is Wi-Fi 6 capable and can provide bandwidth speeds of over 2000 megabits per second. Now we will go into greater detail in a later video but this video is just going to be simply setting it up and setting it up in a simple home use configuration. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Setting this thing up is gonna be pretty simple because we did a lot of the legwork in a previous video, which you can check out here. And, but I'll still describe the process for you anyway in a more simplified version. So there's two ways to power the actual wireless access point. And that's with your standard outlet. If you really wanted to, you could run power to the device to power it on, or you can do something a lot more fancy by using power over ethernet. So thankfully, TP-Link has already sent over a access point for us, and this um, switch, I said access point, this switch is capable of providing power over an ethernet cable to power our access point. Now that's really important because it means we don't need any additional cables or anything like that. And all we have to do in order to do that is simply plug in our uh, ethernet cable into one of the ports on the switch and then plug it into the access point itself and it will boot on as soon as it detects power and there's nothing else we need to do from here because the switch is already pre-configured to provide power. While we wait for the access point to power up, we can go ahead and log into our Amada controller so we can adopt it. Okay, from here we're just going to want to go to devices and we can see that uh, the wireless access point has already pulled an IP address from our DHCP server as 192.168.0.243 and its status is currently pending so we'll just simply need to click the adopt button and wait for this to finish adopting. Great, so we got our wireless access point adopted so now we need to create some wireless networks. However, in a previous video we actually created a kids VLAN so that way only uh, the kids would have access to this specific subnet here Anything, any device would get a IP address of 192.168.10.1 and um, that's important because we want them to be on their own subnet away from other devices on the network. One other thing to note here too is that in that previous video we also created the VLAN ID of 10 and we're going to actually need this uh, moving forward. So let's go ahead and go over to wireless networks to create our kids wireless network. We're going to go ahead and say call it the kids network. We're going to let the wireless band be on both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band because we are somewhat lenient. And for security, we're just going to leave it as WA personal and we're going to give it a super secret password of girls rule, boys drool. And we're going to click on advanced settings here. Next, we're going to click enable VLAN and we're going to set the VLAN ID to 10. So that means that any device that connects to this wireless network of kids will automatically be put on the kids VLAN. And one more thing we're going to do while we're in here is we're going to set a rate limit and we're going to say custom and we're going to say the download limit is going to be limited to 5 megabits per second because we are terrible people and we don't want our kids having full bandwidth so we can use it all for ourselves for our 4K Netflix. And we're going to set the upload limit to 10 because we are somewhat lenient parents so that way when they're uploading anything to their favorite social media, whether it be streaming, pictures, YouTube, whatever it may be, um, they will get somewhat fast speeds. And we're going to click apply here. All right, great. So we're done. Uh-oh, but wait a minute. Just because we finished creating the wireless network doesn't mean we're totally out of the weeds just yet. So let's go ahead and connect to the wireless network and make some observations here. So we are going to connect to our kids network. And we will be able to see that once we're connected, we will pull an IP address of 192.168. Dot one, dot 10, and that's working perfectly. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is actually just test to make sure that things are working appropriately. So we'll go to fast.com here, and we can see that we're pretty much being limited in our download speeds. So that means it's mostly working. We can make this a lot more strict if we wanted, but I think it's fine as is. Okay, so our download is obviously being limited. I am willing to bet our upload is also being limited here as well. But here is where the problem is. So if we navigate to any device on our LAN network, we can actually reach um, our uh, MADA controller and our router here. So I'm looking at the router. 
uh, which is very dangerous. That means the kids could come in here and start trying to mess with stuff and possibly even make some changes. And that's a big no-no. We can't have that. So there's one more thing we need to do before we move on from here. Okay, so we need to keep those pesky kids from making any changes on our LAN subnet. So what we're gonna wanna do is click on network security and then click on ACL here and then finally on EAP ACL, so uh, wireless access uh, control list. Uh, so we're gonna create a new rule here. We're gonna say deny kids and we're gonna say deny um, from this kids VLAN source here and then we're gonna have to create an actual uh, IP group here because we don't wanna just select any group. So we're gonna create a new uh, group and we're gonna call this one LAN because that's our default one. And we're gonna say deny access to all IP addresses on 192.168.0.1 uh, and the entire range that is available to that network. So we're gonna say confirm and click LAN and apply. So now when we go back and check, no longer that wireless network should no longer have access to anything on the 192.168.0.1 uh, subnet. So let's go check that really quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that our kids still have access to the internet. So we're just gonna go here and do a refresh. And of course they still have access to the internet, so that's good news. Uh, but that was not our goal. Our goal was to make sure that they could no longer access the 192.168.0.1 network. So we're going to simply try and access our router here, which is has the IP address of 192.168.0.1, and it doesn't load. So I think we did a good job with this, uh, considering we can't get there, and there we go, it times out, so perfect. Now we've protected our home network, and we've successfully limited their download and upload speeds. Now there's one last wireless network we want to create here, and that's gonna be for everybody else on the home or basically just our parents or just the parents or smart devices, whatever they may be. Um, we're also gonna give this a super secret password here. Um, we're gonna leave basically all these other settings alone. We could specify the uh, default VLAN here with a VLAN ID of one, but we don't need to because uh, by default, this will put us on that LAN network and we're not gonna apply anything else here. Hit apply. And um, so, as I mentioned before, by default, the wireless um, networks here will have access to all of the networks on the LAN. And I can verify this by going to um, wired networks, LAN, switch settings, edit profile. And I know that I plugged in my wireless access point into uh, port one here, and we can actually see um, a little bit here that the profile here for that port is set to all. Now, if I would specify kids VLAN, then anything else would be denied here. Um, so we're just gonna leave this as all. If we wanted to get super secure, we could really lock this down, uh, but we don't need to. So we click cancel. And that is pretty much all that we need to do for just a very simple, basic um, home setup. Uh, for our wireless networks. Okay, so now that we have the home network created, let's go ahead and do one speed test. So I'm gonna log in here to the um, home network. And just to show you that it will pull a 192.168.0 address, um, you can see that here. So it has done that um, without any additional effort on our part. Now we're gonna switch over to our uh, internet browser here and we're gonna run a speed test from fast.com and you know nothing too spectacular to see here uh, but you know that's a good download speed of about 380 megabits per second i'm gonna quickly refresh this real quick just to see if we can do any better all right great almost maxing out our actual internet speed and let's uh, do show more so we can see what kind of upload speeds we could expect uh, for this wireless access point now this is being done on an ipad with Wi-Fi 6, but we are currently limited to uh, one gigabit per second. Um, and I'm not uh, too close to the actual uh, access point itself. But I'd say that's pretty good. And I think that pretty much concludes all the wireless network stuff. So let's go ahead and move on. Okay, very cool. So that was our very simple home setup with the 
um, EAP6600 HD wireless network. We will do a more in-depth video at a later time exploring things like maybe finer firewall controls, access controls, uh, maybe even turning off the wireless network at scheduled times, things of that nature. We will definitely do something more detailed um, for home and or maybe the business. I haven't really decided what we'll do, but we will definitely do that so um, we won't be totally just short and sweet here. Um, so I want to thank you guys all for watching because without you, videos like this wouldn't be possible. Um, you know, having TP Link send these things over uh, for me is really sweet and that would not happen without you. And of course, thank you TP Link for sending over this sweet hardware. I can't wait to do a more detailed video about this access point because it is actually uh, very sweet in my opinion. Um, and I really want to show you guys more about it in the future. And with all that being said, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.